Now, incredibly, I've just marked 20 years working at this incredible newspaper with some of the most talented journalists, photographers I've ever known. Uh, we are a special bunch, we really are. So much so that in the same week that I've been here 20 years, the newspaper won the regional newspaper of the year for New Zealand, the best use of print, and the overall best newspaper in New Zealand for the year just passed. That was largely down to our coverage of Cyclone Gabriel, which uh, absolutely devastated the region. We actually won an international award as well. I can't remember what that one was. That was over in London. That was for the same, uh, the same coverage of Cyclone Gabriel. We showed the country what a good regional newspaper can do and uh, really proud of our effort. Anyway, I'm gonna be heading off shortly for a, for a month or so. While I'm just waiting to get on my travels, I thought I would dig back through some of the archives and some of the photographs, some of the, some of the events that I've covered over the time. And uh, this, this one particularly stood out. It was back in 2008, 16 years ago now. We had a young family in one of the local suburbs. The young fella answered a knock at the door, opened the door, four fellas burst in there and uh, beat him to a pulp assaulted his missus and uh, this, this is all in front of the baby and it was uh, it was a pretty vicious brutal attack long story short but it turns out it was a, a case of mistaken identity so uh, the father of the girl assaulted is a local councillor or was a local councillor at the time uh, an absolute legend of a man called Hanari O'Keefe he stepped up to the plate and he organized a hikoi a community march from the suburb to the center of the town he called this hikoi enough is enough because basically this attack came on the back of a few other pretty nasty attacks and uh, the community have said enough is enough and uh, why not. So uh, yeah, so I went out there to, to cover this for the newspaper. You look back on it 16 years later and... Anyway. And I just think this highlights the power of photography because, you know, at the time you take these photographs and you, you mark these occasions and you think, yeah, that's, that's good, you know, I, I, quite, I, I did quite a good job there, I'm quite proud of that. A few things I could have done differently and a few things I've learned over the years, but I was quite proud of that effort. And then you look back 16 years later or 10 years, whatever, you know, with the passing of time, photographs take on more power for me. You know, you can take a photograph today at a, a, a protest, an event or anything, and you think, yeah, that's good. But in 5, 10, 15, 20 years time, when people have moved on and, you know, things have changed, it really does make a difference. Some of the people in these photographs might not be still with us, who knows? And some of the young kids in these photographs will be young adults now. So uh, people come and people go and uh, photography might, photography, photograph everything. Because you really don't know how important a photograph is going to be in years to come. Yeah, photography, mate, it's a wonderful thing. It's so important, you just keep taking pictures every single day. All right, catch you later, hope you enjoy.